Hello everyone, I am Miss Blessed to be a blessing and I am here to do readings here. Today is, though mm, so today is May the 5th, yes, May the 5th, 2023. All of that equals up to, so it's 5-5 five, five, and a 23 would equal to another 5. Alright, so I'm doing fire signs first. The first card that's coming out for fire signs, mm, Air element card. Leo said the chairs in Aries. What's going on for my fire signs today? Um, May the 5th, 2023. What's going on? Hmm. That's what I feel like. Um, there's some disappointment going on for some of you guys. Let's get your cards out first. Leo Sagittarius and Aries. What's going on with my Leo Sagittarius and Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and for the cross watchers or anybody that's being knows in regard to a fire sign, this is a reading for my fire signs. Leo Sagittarius and Aries. What's the messages for my Leo Sagittarius and for Aries? Angels, guys, ancestors. Risha, speak to me in regard to fire signs. What's the messages you have for them today? Let me cut these cards. One, two, three. Now shuffle again. Pop. Fire signs. I only take cards that come out. Those cards came out. This one came out first. Then this one. What's going on with my fire signs? Leo said it is in Aries, please. Right. Hmm. Leo said the tears in Aries. What's going on? The Leo said the tears in Aries. What's the message is today? Leo said the tears in Aries. Talk to me. Leo said the tears in Aries. What's the message is today? Leo Sagittarius and Aries. What are the messages for my Leo Sagittarius and Aries? I feel like some of you are definitely reminiscing about a lot of things from the past here. Or either somebody from your past is going to come back into your life. Okay? I do see here, there's some confusion or a lot of competition that's definitely surrounding you guys. Seven of Swords, there's a lot of betrayal. Some of you feel like you've been betrayed, like you've been stabbed in the back here. Some of you may feel like some things have definitely have not worked in your favor. Thank you. Leo said the tears to the area. What's the message? Hmm. You're seeking a lot of, you want emotional fulfillment and happiness is what I see because you have the Ten of Cups here. But if I begin from the beginning, like I said, you're in the start. So there could be a lot of communication going on with somebody from the past. Like I said, um, then you have, thank you, Spirit. You have uh, competition. You feel like you've been betrayed. There's a lot of talk going on as well. I feel like there could be people that are talking behind your back or saying things about you. And you're just in one of those types of moods those two that's more than two but i'm gonna take the first one that came out and then i'll work my way to the other one what's going on over here did i drop it on the floor oh i caught it y'all shit so that's your first line that's what it's saying the second card is you have the second line rather you have the queen of pentacles the death card this is the Seven of Pentacles. So you could be either um, have Earth in your chart, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I'm um, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's self-assured, but you could be definitely focusing on your finances here as well. The Death card, which is a Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or either there's a transformation taking place around you. Lots of changes. Things have to end for new things to begin. Doors have to close so new things can come in. The Seven of Pentacles, you've planted some seeds for prosperity, growth, and wealth. That's what I see that you're definitely waiting for. You have the World card. It means that you're cycling out of one thing, going to another. 
Um, some of you are definitely changing a lot, going through a lot. So even though you may be going through some hard times or something like that, or things not working in your favor, people talking about you, you feel like you're stabbed in the back. I do see money coming in for you because you have the will of fortune here. That's just you if you're going through a change right now. And that's funny that I said change because today is five five five. You know what I mean. May the fifth and it's twenty twenty three. Um, there's changes that are taking place all over. It's not just with you. Then you got a tower moment. So some of you are going through a tower moment on top of these other changes. And you're just like, you know, if one more thing happened, I know, you know, I'm just so sick and tired of this, you know. But um, just know that you're going to be okay is what I'm seeing. Because the next card you have here is the nine of cups. This is emotional fulfillment and happiness. The star card is coming behind your witch fulfillment card. This is the Aquarius card, the star card. Um, this is also a healing card for you. So you definitely got some healing that's going to be taking place here in your life here with your star card, okay? You also have the next card that's coming out on the deck for you guys. It's the Ten of Pentacles. So you're going to have some healing that's going to take place, but you got to go through this tower moment. This is a life lesson, or you have gone through, you feel like you've been through a lot of lessons lately, but things are going to work out because healing is coming. Healing is coming with the star card, and then your money is definitely coming. The money that you plan to seize for prosperity goes well, or the money you've been waiting for to come in, it's coming. Now, the moon card, so that lets me know there's some secrets. Lots of stuff in the see. There's some things that are hidden here. Um, we know that anything that happens in the dark will definitely come to the light. Right, you guys? Um, some of y'all definitely suck because your cards are not popping like they normally would. But I'm going to continue your reading. Okay, Sire says, Leo Sagittarius and Aries. Tell me about Leo Sagittarius and Aries. Other than them going through all of that commotion or whatever they're going through right about now. What else? Could, what's going to happen for them? Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. So it lets me know that you've been working extremely hard. This is somebody at work working extremely hard. Trying to do what you need to do in order to get your money and your wealth and your strength up is what I'm seeing. Oh, look at that. Creativity card. Thank you, Spirit. That's the creativity card. You're working hard. Create Creativity is right at hand. It's up for you to write your vision and make it plain. Whatever it is that you want to need in your life, you can create it if that's what you need. Okay? What's going on with my fire signs? Leo said it is in Aries. What's the messages in that cell? So I'm going to take it anyway. Okay, we got the high priestess. The high priestess is saying, follow your intuition regarding to everything that's taking place within your life because it would never lead you astray. Leo said it's here from Aries. But y'all being stuck. Some of you just, I feel like a lot of you are angry. You got a lot of anger here. There's some anger here. It's time for you to manifest some new, some new things. Look at that. You got the magician card. Let's start from you working hard. You got the eight of pentacles. This you working extremely hard. Your creativity is going to be high once your healing takes place. Remember, there's a healing card underneath here. The high priestess say keep on fighting your intuition and guard to everything that you know. Keep some things to yourself till they have manifest. With the magician card, it's time for you to, um, with the change that's coming in with the death card, with transformation, you got some good things coming in. You just got to manifest it. Trust and believe in yourself. Some of y'all hold your head up. Don't hold your head down. Keep breathing. Remember, if you fall down, you get up. You dust yourself off and you keep things moving. No matter what. Whether it be in a lover's relationship, something with a job, whatever it is. Let's see. What else do you have for me with my fire signs for today? See how the card turned? That lets me know it wants to come out as well. All right, so we have a three of pentacles. This lets me know that you pay close attention to detail. You don't miss out on nothing. Sometimes people think that you ain't been paying attention, but you see everything. Like me, I'm a Leo. Of course, I see everything. I mean, yeah, and then I have spiritual sight as well. But I'm saying people think you don't, but you pay close attention to small detail. I mean, your recognition is good. You know what I'm saying? You can look at somebody and you can see something, and then you'll be like, I could tell you what you had on years ago. Well, other people may have forgotten, but you got a good memory here. Let's see what these cards. Look at that. You got the sun card. This is a Leo card all day, every day. You also have the full card. You're going to be happy as long as you start something new. It's time for a new journey. If any something else didn't work out for you over here, 
On the left, that's all right. Your right is about to come in. You got some good cards over here. Let me just reiterate what you got. After the healing, you just keep working. Go ahead and manifest. The spirits are going to help you from the spiritual realm here. Give you the creativity that you need. Make sure you're paying close attention to detail. That means if you come into contact with somebody, it could be a business deal. You got to make sure that everything is legit. All keys crossed, our eyes dotted. No more fuck around. No more time to be fucking around. It's time for you to get to your business. Because you have the magician card here. It's time for you to manifest with the high priestess. Follow your intuition all the time. It will never lead you astray. If you feel like something ain't fucking right, it ain't right. P P that's point blank, period. Period. You understand what I'm saying? You heard me? All right. You have the sun card. That's happiness is, is yours. There's also the Leo card. Stand in your strength and your power and do what you need to do. If you got to start something new, you can do it. It may be hard at first, but you got to keep moving. All right, fire signs. Okay, so I think your message is pretty much come out. This is your stuff you're going through. Some of you are going through a trying time. Remember, this message did not um reply to you. Let it go. It ain't for you. This is for the ones that this message connect with. And if this message connects with you, you guys, um, could you please leave a comment in the comment section down below? Even if it's one thing that connected with you, comment in the comment section. Thumbs up the video because it don't hurt to do that. If you're going to visit somebody's channel, at least show that you're there. It's like a participation sign, you know? Anyway, you guys, it is what it is. Fire signs. I just want to say, you know, let's see. I'm going to get a few more cards. The cherry card is saying it's time for you to keep moving. Hit things head on no matter what. Underneath the bottom of the deck, it's you. You're in your own element. You're definitely in your own element here with the fire. You're in your own element here. It's decision-making time for you. It's hard to make head over hard decision in regard to, all right, so fuck. That didn't work out for me. Let me try a different route. Let me do something different here, you know? Yeah. All right, let me see if there's anything else that comes out for you. I'm just guys ancestors. Arishas. What's the messages for my fire signs? Leo said the chance of Aries. Are there any more messages from this deck that you would like to give me today before I close it out? Leo said the chairs and Aries. What's the messages? I'm gonna take these cards. I just want to see what they say. Mm. You could have a message coming in from a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I do see you defending yourself against others here. People have come up against you a lot. That's what I'm seeing. You also have here, yeah, like you've been stabbed in the back. This is the Ten of Swords, but also people around and talking their mouth. And, so it's time for you to stay guarded in regard to that. Recognize people for who they really are. Because you'll see it or feel it or something. But um, guard your heart, mind, body, and spirit at all times. But keep things moving. You don't never let nobody stop your progress. Run monkey don't stop no show. You understand what I'm saying? Fire signs. Remember. Remember who you are and whose you are. All right? But that's pretty much, it's pretty much it. Um, they done told the story. They done said what it is. Let's see. A few more cards for y'all. I see you're going to be receiving some money from somebody here. You have that fire sign. You could be dealing with another Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. That King of Pentacles is coming in. It could be a Virgo Taurus, Capricorn individual. what I say here? Uh-huh. That's the strength card right there. Standing your strength in regard to anybody that comes up against you. Any opposition that you have, you got to come up against some things. Y'all have definitely been in your, your head, your mind, you know, taking time to yourself to figure things out. You can't concentrate. You got a lot of stuff going on around. You got to get to yourself so you can hear your spirits talk. But this is a Virgo card here as well. Underneath the bottom of the deck, you do have the Ace of Cups. This is... uh. Huge offer that's definitely going to be coming in for you, okay? Lots of offers, even though you may be in your emotions in regard to some things. But you see these rainbows? They ain't here for nothing. So get out your emotions when it comes to something. Yes, yeah, some things ain't working out right now. Yep, sure ain't. But it's okay. Because there is some happiness here beyond the rainbow. All you got to do is reach for that goal. It's right there. Spirits are helping you. Look at that. Ace of Cups. They're going to open up doors. What about opportunity for these or two? This card even here got a rainbow in it. So look for the rainbow. That's what I'm going to name this. 
Look, look for your rainbows, because there's three, one, two, three rainbows. That's going to be the title of this. Look for your rainbow in the midst of the storm. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, Please like, subscribe, and comment, you guys. And have a truly, truly blessed day. Thank you.